What is up YouTube? So I actually wanted to do a 2016 recap and it's been a while. I am like one month late, but that's okay because it was Chinese New Year. I don't really have any family up here in Minnesota. So I did celebrate with a Taco Bell Naked Chicken Chalupa. Check it out the video. Uh, I have it somewhere. We'll post it the link. So that's how I celebrated Chinese New Year. It was kind of pathetic, but that's okay. The point of this video is to talk about some of the cool things that happened in 2016. Just want to recap a little bit since everyone else is doing it. Figured I'd jump on that bandwagon. I'm going to start off with saying 2016 was super amazing. I got to travel to a lot of places. I went to three different places internationally. Got to check out Tokyo, two places in Canada, Vancouver and Thunder Bay. Awesome trips. Highly recommend it if you guys get a chance. Because of the nature of my work, uh, I was able to do a couple of business trips to cities I've never been in, such as Scottsdale in Arizona. Beautiful city. Would not live there. It is not very colorful. It's a desert. I mean, you know, there's a lot of cactus if you like cactus, but uh, that's cool if you like that. Then I also got to visit North Carolina, um, got to visit Duke. That was a very cool trip, was um, checking out some of their stewardship programs over there. Also got to visit a lot of cities because everyone is getting older and getting married and I am here in a room at like 8 p.m. making YouTube videos. That's how awesome it is. Anyways, I got to visit places, let me see, where did I go? Got to check out uh, Iowa, went to Orlando, went to Denver, so some cool places that I got to check out for people's weddings. Uh, on top of that, I also visited Seattle for the first time. I'm scoping out new cities to move to after my job here at Mayo. Seeing what's cool out there. I actually went to Portland a while ago, so definitely check out that video if you have not already. Something else that's really cool that you probably already noticed is YouTube. So if you're watching this right now, you probably noticed that you're seeing my face all over your newsfeed, or maybe we're not friends and you're just watching on YouTube. But that's okay. Uh, YouTube was something that I got back into this year, uh, specifically in August of this year, by the mother, oh, how does he say it? He says, uh, Mutta. Kevin the Mutta, Asian hot wife. Check him out. Um, he's a pharmacist in LA, got me back into this YouTube gig, and was just, you know, telling me no one on YouTube really does pharmacy videos, and was like, you gotta get on this, check it out, it's cool. So that's what I did. Uh, but YouTube, it's been amazing. I increased my subscriber count by 80. So I think I, ha I have about like 130 right now. They're probably all my family and friends, but that's okay. I know my mom and dad's probably on that. So shout out to my parents um, and all my other family and friends that are a subscriber of me. Hope you enjoy the videos, but you know, thank you all for subscribing. It means a lot to me that people are actually watching and care about what this crazy dude has to say. The other thing that I want to mention is that this year has been amazing, not only for my career, but also for my family and friends. So if you know me from the past, I never get to spend time with family and friends. I've always been focused on career, 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 school, school, school. So it's like, it sucks. But I actually got to visit my family and friends four times this year. I know that does not sound like a lot, but sometimes I don't even get to go home, not even once in a year. So this has been a crazy year. Got to go back home, see family and friends four times. So that was cool. Um, aside from that, 2016 has probably been the most impactful and significant milestone, many milestones in terms of my career. It has been crazy. So for instance, in April of last year, I passed my board certification for pharmacy. Got my BCPS. Hardly studied for that, and I passed it. I probably should not have passed it. I actually barely passed it, but hey, you pass, you pass. So that was really cool. That's actually been on my bucket list since I graduated pharmacy school in 2013. That was exciting. The other thing is, I actually got my second job in September of last year. I know it's crazy. Second job is not as bad. It's a career coach. I get to mentor pharmacy students from when they first start pharmacy school as a little 1PD all the way up into a 4PD. So I get to kind of coach them as they progress in their pharmacy journey. Hopefully I can get them and land them an awesome job after pharmacy school. 
So I landed that in September of last year. I also got to increase my presence, if you will, with ASHP. So ASHP is like kind of that organization for hospital health system pharmacists. Uh, one of the things that I got to do this year is they put me on their member spot, like they put me on their website. So definitely check out that link. Check out my profile. They just put a little profile about you on ASHP because you're, you know, um, one of the members that contribute uh, to that organization. So that was really awesome. I also got involved with the section advisory group for ASHP. Specifically, I'm on the professional development advisory group. Uh, I took a little leap of faith, put myself in an uncomfortable position and joined the leadership work group as part of that uh, advisory group. And I asked, I also stepped up and became the co-chair of that work group, which was a little scary, but that's okay. Because of that though, I got nominated to join this awesome, crazy, uh, I don't know, leadership advisory panel that I'm still learning about because it hasn't started yet. It's gonna go for four months, but basically we discuss the leadership gap in pharmacy and we're going to pitch recommendations to ASHP's organization and kind of make recommendations on how we can Bridge that gap. Bridge it. Yeah. So that's really cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, there's some big names on there that I'll be working with. Awesome thing and scary thing at the same time. Now, one of the biggest things that has <laughs> uh, occurred this year is definitely when I apply, started my application into my MPH or Masters of Public Health program in August. That has been another thing that has been on my bucket list since I graduated in 2013. And I've just been thinking about it, finally decided to just go forward with it. I did not think I was gonna make it this far. I didn't even wanna do the masters anymore, but I was like, you know what? This is my lifetime goal. I need to do it, put my mind to it, apply. Big thanks to you know my, the four individuals that wrote my recommendation letters. They're all colleagues with me here at Mayo. We have Ben Nelson, Ben Anderson, Dennis Lin Lim, and Paul Johnson. Awesome individuals. Probably would not have gotten accepted to my schools if it wasn't for them. Oh, I, I completely forgot that I didn't even talk about the schools. So I applied to three different MPH programs. It was Hopkins, Emory, and UNC extremely humbled, very humbled, I got accepted to all three of the programs because they are all kind of considered prestigious schools. Hopkins is ranked number one in the nation, if not in the world. UNC is ranked number two. Emory is ranked number seven. So it was a huge leap of faith because, you know, there, I didn't have any safety schools. I should have learned my lesson because if you didn't know, I applied to all these prestigious programs when I was uh, applying for a first year residency and I didn't match zero, zero, no one wanted me. And you know, that's, that's the issue. Don't always apply, don't put your eggs all in one basket, but I did. And for some crazy reason, it worked. But you know, whatever, worked, it worked. So that's amazing. I'm extremely excited, but also really scared. I actually decided that I'm gonna be going to Hopkins. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. I will be starting very soon. I start in June. Uh, orientation's on June 4th, goes on for two and a half to three years. I need to fly on site and attend classes there uh, about one to two weeks a year. So a little worried about that. It costs a lot of money. Um, program's usually about 80 something thousand in terms of tuition. They do have a scholarship starting 2016 and later that gives you 20,000. So tuition ends up being about 64,000 in total. Quite pricey. I cannot believe I'm doing this to myself again. I just got out of school and going right back into school. Yeah, I'm crazy, but whatever. I don't know. Anyways, I am hoping to keep this hustle momentum going, hoping to step up my game more this coming year in 2017. There's a lot of negative news on there, out there about Trump right now. I'm just trying to be positive. My heart goes out to everyone that's been affected. You know, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to stay positive. Hopefully we'll keep more of these videos coming. If you have questions and comments, leave them below. Shoot me an email, shoot me a message. Until next time.